Good evening. This is Dave Query coming from you for today's Dave's Doc Talk. And uh, happens to be not on the dock, but beside the dock. As I am, uh, I just took a swim. <clears throat> just threw my shirt back on here and standing in what uh, is damn near like bath water. It's so darn nice and warm. Uh, the, the, the beach here, the, the, the lake bottom at this point is rather gravelly and full of shells and such like that. It's, it's not exactly a uh, white sand beach, but it's my beach and damn it, it's pretty good. Uh, you'll see my trusty companion Abigail here flipping out as usual, watching the fish, <clears throat> which unfortunately I don't believe you can see, <clears throat> even if I pointed the camera at the water. After having swum, uh, I kind of stirred up the bottom. But uh, on this evening's Doc Talk here, I just wanted to uh, discuss actually uh, yesterday's uh, Think and Grow Rich call. Um, just a brief part of it, uh, the, the um, towards the end, there was a uh, Think and Grow Rich member who called in, Lisa, I believe, and she had uh, actually, she had talked about it uh, a couple of times, about uh, her, her son, who is five or six years old, and he's going through swimming lessons, and... He didn't believe, nor apparently did his teacher uh, believe that uh, he could he could uh, make it to the next level in the swimming class. You know, he was kind of stuck where he was, and and uh, he told his mom that uh, he was going to try and uh, do this particular stroke, and and his mom basically uh, told him they're you know, kind of like Master Yoda. There is no try, son. There is only do, and you're going to do this, and pretty much that's that and with that confidence you know not in a mean way just a very uh, confident manner that uh, mommy had uh, over a period of time the uh, the boy uh, actually learned to uh, swim at that level and learned to dive off the uh, diving board and not only did he dive but he ran, his teacher challenged him to run off the diving board. And he did it, and he was so damn proud of himself, and she was so proud of him. And, and uh, the, the reason I, I bring that up is because of the way uh, Paul Hutchings had, had uh, brought it up again, saying that uh, we all have our, our own BS meters, you know, you can tell when somebody's giving you a line of crap. And as uh, Paul was saying, he said that kid, you know, even at that young age, has his own BS meter. Just trying to give you a little kind of panorama of the uh, lake here. That kid wasn't, or believed that what his mom was telling him because he knew that she was living it. He knew that she was speaking from experience, that you don't just try stuff, you do it. And that is something we can certainly all learn from. I know I can. I know how, there's a lot of times when I say, I'll give it a try and, you know, wishy-washy BS like that. And uh, you know what I know, that... You know, Master Yoda is right. <laughs> there is no try, there is only do. Damn it, just do it. If you listen to uh, Art, uh, uh, Art Williams, I've talked about him before. You can find him on YouTube, look him up. Uh, I believe he's in his southern way. I mean, he's got his uh, a speech, I'm sure it's several speeches, where he basically said, there's no try, you just do it. And, of course, I can't say it exactly in his manner, but, uh, anyway, that's my thoughts for the day, that, uh, you know, when does your 
you know, I'm sure you can, your, your BS meter goes off when you can hear a load of crap, and you can tell when somebody's actually living what they're talking. And uh, by doing these videos every day, you know, granted there's a lot more things I need to do, and working on that, but right now, after a uh, 14 and a half hour day, uh, believe me, I thought about canning the video tonight, but damn it, I have made a commitment, and I'm going to do it, you know, sometime I might have to do it from my bed, but uh, as long as it's uh, decent weather, and, and uh, I can show folks what it's like to, uh, you know, uh, be working towards your dream, and having at least part of it already happening, I'm going to do it, so with that, you have a... Uh, fine evening and I'm going to try and keep these damn horse flies off me they just started out today and uh, I'm gonna go grab a bite to eat and head off to bed <clears throat> leave you with the uh, usual parting shot here it's beautiful here join my team and you can uh, come out and join me have a good evening